Hi, this is Jedi's for Jesus, and today I am gonna go ahead and show you some more stuff on how you can cook in this air fryer. I've had this air fryer well over a year, and um, it's funny how basically um, all the different air fryers that are out there that you gotta go ahead and um, figure out what's the best temperature, what's the best time for each individual things. So I actually got a list of all the things that I have made because I got um, a, a dual air fryer with uh, two uh, trays here. And sometimes people um, talk about their bigger air fryer and it's just a one basket and it's like, so you have to basically uh, figure out what's the right temperature. Just a quick story um, be, before I show you what I'm gonna go ahead and make today in this air fryer. As you could have saw in the thumbnail, I'm gonna make some donuts. What I wanna tell you a story about was last weekend, I went ahead and uh, tried to make a banana bread. And there will be a video on here about that. But first of all, I had to go ahead and um, again, experiment. And this is gonna be the first time I make these donuts too. So it's like, uh, I'm actually um, experimenting and uh, hopefully they turn out great. But uh, I, what I did was I made the banana bread and I got this uh, from uh, Amazon. A nice silicone liner that you can put inside your air fryer and it fits in there. Um, so you actually get two of those. And like I said, I got these on Amazon. Um, there will be a link below for all the stuff that I'm showing you today. Um, so I went ahead and put the banana bread batter in here and I placed it in here and I put it in the air fryer. And after about, uh, 30 minutes, I checked it. Still no good. Uh, another 10 minutes, still no good. I actually took it out, flipped it over, cooked it another 20 minutes. It still was uh, raw in the, in the middle. So I got to find a different use for these things. Uh, you know, I will figure out how to use them. But instead, what I wanted up buying was uh, these. Um, and again, uh, got them on Amazon. And they're metal. So I'm going to go ahead and try these and uh, there will be a video of this um, at the end about how I make this banana bread in, in the future. So um, I'm going to leave, I'd leave this thing in the bottom and go ahead and put this in here like that, which it fits. So, but like I said, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to go ahead and talk about making donuts. So these are the donuts. I'm gonna go ahead and make the Grand's donuts here. And uh, I don't have a cookie cutter thing, so I am using just a cap from a bottle. So now I got my uh, donuts there, as you can see. The next thing you wanna go ahead and do. All right, before I go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the uh, donuts, I just wanna say a scripture here from the Bible. It is Romans 12, two. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. Start the air fryer. You put the, press number one, put the air fryer to 360, put the time on for, um, I'm gonna put it on for three minutes. Actually, put it on for six minutes. At three minutes, you're gonna go ahead and flip them over. So, um, I, since it's 
that size, I'll probably put uh, put both air fryers. So I'm going to do match cook. So they're both going to be on. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and spray them right now with um, some spray. I actually have a sprayer that I got from Amazon, but I have not filled it up with anything yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, olive oil spray. Whether you're watching on your smart device or your computer, please, on the bottom, please leave a comment. It really helps out our channel. Thank you. Subscribe, give a thumbs up, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload a brand new video. Thank you. So there you go. You can get six of them in there, or maybe even a few more, but uh, and then I guess I'll go ahead and put the donut holes in uh, next round. So. so now what you want to go ahead and do is uh, melt your butter and go ahead and uh, make your cinnamon uh, sugar mix. At this point, I'm going to stop it, take a look at them. Not yet. And this is what I'm talking about, learning your air fryer, your particular one. Um, it's now in there for five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check them again. So they, I'm just going to go ahead and turn them over. So just to show you there, those are looking pretty good because there's only two in there. The other ones there's a, uh, three in there they didn't look that brown so we'll go ahead and reset this we'll go ahead and put air fry 360 for another so that was five minutes and now we're going to go ahead and do another three minutes. So eight minutes total. And match cook and start. So let's see how this turns out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it there and see how they look. Okay. They look uh, good. The ones that have uh, three in it, it's like uh, they probably need a little bit more. So that's the whole thing about figuring it out. Yeah, these look uh, maybe a little bit overdone, but uh, that's what you gotta figure out. So go ahead and take those out. So I'd say about uh, for two, about seven minutes. For three, about um, eight minutes would be fine.
Okay, now I went ahead and uh, melted a cube of butter. And then I got some cinnamon and uh, sugar that I got to mix up here. I mixed uh, four tablespoons um, sugar and one tablespoon cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and um, dip it in the butter on both sides and around. Put it in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Okay, I went ahead and um, made the donuts and put the uh, butter, sugar, and cinnamon on them, but I forgot to press play. So that's what happens. I went ahead and uh, put the uh, donut holes in the air fryer, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you now exactly um, how that's all gonna work out with me uh, dipping it in the butter, the cinnamon uh, sugar mix. So now I got the donut holes. So what I actually did is I used a stick of uh, butter and then the cinnamon and sugar. I went ahead and uh, put the uh, four um, tablespoons of sugar and I put uh, one tablespoon of cinnamon and you can mix that up if you uh, um, want to make it a little bit stronger cinnamon or more sugar. So go ahead and roll these around into the uh, butter here. And like I said, that's what I did with the donuts. And then you just cover them all up on all sides. And then I can go ahead and show you the, how the donuts turned out. There's the donuts. So little put the little donut holes over there next to them. So like I said, that's what I did with the uh, donuts. Uh, put them on both sides and then uh, rolled it around so you can get the butter on the sides. And uh, there you go. So now the thing that I'm curious to see, probably just like you are, I'm gonna pick one of these donuts. And then uh, cut into it. And show you. It look good. So these are really good and like I always like to end my videos. Hope to see you someday soon in heaven. <laughs>